This is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And this is why you shouldn't get one. <laughs> Number one on my list, Staffies are strong. Don't let their small size fool you. You need to have enough strength to control your dog, and that's true with any breed. I'm not saying you have to be, you know, a natural pro bodybuilder or anything like that. <laughs> but it definitely would be irresponsible for you to get a dog that you can't walk because it just throws you around. And number two, Staffies are known to be dog aggressive, so if you're not the type of person who can handle the pressure of possibly breaking up a scuffle here and there, then the Staffy may not be the right dog for you. We're on the way to the dog park right now and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about as far as dog aggression and Staffies being a little bit too much to handle sometimes at the dog park. I actually have no idea how this is gonna go. Maybe there's not even dogs at the park, maybe Shadow's just on his best behavior, but we'll see. So a big part of this too is Shadow isn't neutered, so he's got a lot of extra testosterone. Just keep that in mind if you do get your dog, you know, fixed. I call it broken, but if you get your dog fixed, they should be a lot calmer at the dog park. Okay, come on. So Shadow's actually being really good today, but some tips for you guys is to get them tired out before you go to the dog park. So if they're like full of energy, then they're gonna be more apt to have a little bit more dog aggression or just, you know, wanna dominate dogs more or they physically can't do it if they're tired out. Just throwing the ball, getting them tired out, having that distraction really helps. Before Shadow has a heart attack, let's get back to the house. These dogs aren't the best in high heat and it's almost 90 degrees here in Arizona. He's constantly trying to hump dogs. He's constantly trying to dominate and he has been in a scuffle or two that I have to break up and I know that if I did get him fixed, he wouldn't have that problem as much. But that's just the reality of the breed. So if you have another dog, you have to consider that as well. They may not get along. You know, nine times out of 10, if you get the Staffy as a puppy and they grow up together, then they're gonna be perfectly fine. But just know that even training your dog to be with other dogs doesn't necessarily mean that he'll never have dog aggression and you never have to break up a fight or two. Number three is space. Staffies need a good amount of room to run and play. And I'm not saying that if you live in a smaller apartment that you can't get a Staffy, but if you're someone who works you know long hours and they're trapped in a small apartment and maybe you can only take them outside once or twice a day you probably don't want to get a staffy you might want to look into a kitty because even me when I first got shadow I lived in a smaller apartment but I worked from home so I could take them outside five or six times a day to go to the bathroom to play so it's definitely not impossible if you live in a small apartment just make sure your staffy has plenty of time each day to go outside and run and play every single day Listen to what I say. And the last reason why you may not want a Staffy is if you're looking for a guard dog. Staffies are great, but they tend to be a more quiet breed and they're more likely to lick your intruder than scare them off. So you might want to go with like a Doberman or a Rottweiler or even American Pitbull. Amstaff, they might be a little bit more intimidating than an English Staffy because they're one of the more smaller breeds in the Pitbull family. But I am curious, what would be the best guard dog? Let me know in the comments down below. I would say probably Rottweiler. The reason I made this video is because there's staffies in shelters all over Europe and Australia. And if this breed gets really popular here in the United States, I do not want to see that happen. I want people who are responsible dog owners to own these dogs. I love this breed and it would seriously kill me if these dogs were in shelters here. I know I make this breed a little bit more popular here in the States because not a lot of people know about them. So I just want to make sure that they are owned by responsible owners. But anyway, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.